After the working day is done for most, an interesting story unfolds somewhere in a community that is less fortunate when it comes to dental health care. It's a story of collaboration among students, dentists, hygienists, educators, and volunteers, all coming together to provide dental care to agencies who serve people in need. This story is called Docs. We started this program to uh, treat people that were low income or people that didn't have any insurance and people that had no other way of getting uh, examined and treated in a dental environment. The Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry, in partnership with the London and District Dental Society and the Fanshawe Dental Hygiene Program, have come together in response to this need. Throughout the city, volunteer dentists, hygienists, students, dental assistants, and others collaborate to provide free evening clinics located at social service agencies using portable equipment all purchased through donations. Well, they fixed my teeth and they were really polite. They treated me like a normal person. Um, they didn't treat me like I was poor or that I didn't need it or, you know, or I was taking advantage of it. The main focus of the Dental Outreach Community Service, known as DOCS, is to work through social service agencies to provide dental service to those within the community who do not have insurance and are in need of dental care. This helps the agencies fulfill their mission and vision of caring for the community. In our community, adults and children are in pain. They're getting sick and even hospitalized because of dental illness. And socially, they're not being treated the same. The Docs Dental Clinic allows folks to come and get treatment. They're pain-free, they have increased self-esteem, and they're able to smile. They are able to have more opportunities in employment, uh, at school, they can interact differently with their peers. They were really great with me and they did their best to give me the care that I needed so that I could feel good about myself. When we go to these outreach areas, uh, the main problem we have is the people going to the dentist. They just don't want to go and we can't get them to go to the university or anywhere because of that fear factor that they have of being out of their environment, their comfort zone. And it's very important that we bring that uh, facility for the dental docs program here in order to overcome as much as we can that factor. The uniqueness of the service is that the clinic is brought to the agencies that the people are already familiar with and that the patients are treated right within their own communities. All that is required is an empty room. Um, now that we have docs, they can come in here. It's a neutral place. It's somewhere where they're comfortable coming and they can come here for dental care. Uh, we can walk them through the process. They can learn about dental care, dental hygiene. It's easy for them to come here. It's quite a, an experience to see these people uh, overcome this, this fear that they have had, that's for sure. The DOCS program has provided the Fanshawe College Dental Hygiene Program with a wonderful opportunity to incorporate a community service element directly into our program curriculum. In addition, our ongoing support of the DOCS program helps with its sustainability, as well as providing our students with a wonderful opportunity to enhance their clinical skills in an off-campus community setting. While collaborating with the UWO Schulich School of Dentistry students, dental hygienists, dental assistants, and dentists from the community, as well as the community partners that we're servicing, aligns beautifully with the government mandate of increasing interprofessionalism in healthcare education. Our students enjoy this opportunity and welcome the experience of providing oral preventive healthcare services to a much needed underserviced population. So I believe the DOCS program for the students is a fantastic learning opportunity. It allows us to volunteer in the community while at the same time increasing clinical experience and seeing many different types of dental problems. In a lot of cases, they see uh, dental situations that they would never encounter in the dental school. So it stands them in good stead for when they go out to, after they graduate, to practice and they've already experienced something like this, so they already have the confidence to go ahead 
and do the appropriate treatment. Four Saturday mornings a year, the dental clinic here at the Shuley School of Medicine and Dentistry has opened up for patients registered with the DOCS program to come in and have further treatment. The kind of work that they're having done is uh, complex restorations or further scaling and root planning. We have the opportunity of involving our dental students. Over 40 of them come in for these Saturday morning clinics. They work with dental hygienists as well as with community volunteer dentists who come in and supervise this work and allow it to be done. Some of the patients registered with the DOCS program require more complex procedures like extractions. From the beginning, we felt it would be in the best interest of everyone involved that if they did require an extraction, we took care of that sort of thing here in the main clinic during the regular work week when we had the appropriate personnel, equipment and materials on hand to handle whatever contingencies may arise during these sorts of procedures. Well, I really appreciate the time that they've taken from their families and their studies to spend with us as a community. And um, I know it's difficult to be away from that. And I really, you know, I'm really proud that they're doing something, not just specifically for me, but for all areas of the city. It kind of makes us aware that there are people in the community that need extra services that might not have uh, them readily available. And this insight, I believe, gives us a very good sense of social responsibility. I believe another aspect of DOCS that's great for the students is it allows us to see dentists that really are true healthcare professionals. They've worked a full shift at their practice throughout the day, and then at nighttime, do not hesitate to come straight here to help patients in need. First of all, we've had tremendous support from the community from a funding aspect through foundations, uh, even students have been raising money for our project and, and uh, enable us to gather up enough seed money to buy a lot of our equipment. The other uh, significant feature in our success has been the tremendous response in volunteers. We've had volunteers from dentists, dental students, hygienists, dental hygiene students, uh, dental assistants, and even uh, other members of the community. And they've all come together in this uh, project to uh, enable us to bring dental care to those who, who really need it. In the short period of two years, the DOCS program were able to carry out 40 evening clinics, treat over 400 patients, and has already serviced around seven different agencies in the London area. The tremendous enthusiasm involved in this project is experienced by everyone who has been privileged to take part in it. From the people who welcome patients for the first time to the glow in the faces of students and volunteers, DOCS facilitates an environment where people's hearts are warmed by the care and generosity of the London dental healthcare community. The folks that have come to DOCS, uh, we've had children, we've had adults, some of the people have gotten jobs because their teeth have been restored, they've gotten dentures, our folks have come and uh, they've been in pain for many, many years, now they're pain free, they're learning how to take care of their teeth, their children are learning how to take care of their teeth and it's not become a generational issue for them. Um, I see people smiling now who have never smiled before because they're embarrassed about their teeth and now docs have come taking care of that issue and they're able to smile. It's very rewarding to see the, uh, the results of our project through the eyes of the patients who are really gratified uh, in having this dental treatment as well as the volunteers who seem to enjoy themselves in, in this uh, uh, well worth uh, project. Um. I don't know, they just gave me my smile back, and I really appreciate that. Docs is an extraordinary story of success. Its continued journey will touch hundreds of people's lives into the future, and thus is giving back more to its participants than what they could possibly turn in.